game changer for Waterbury police. A new piece of technology is helping them identify potential suspects faster. Channel 3 Waterbury Bureau Chief Dennis Valera shows us how it works and how it's already been used to make an arrest. The rapid hit technology recently helped in the arrest of this guy, Juan Roman. Police found his DNA from an object he used trying to break into top shelf liquor. After submitting his DNA into the machine in less than an hour, he was already identified as a suspect. After taking him into custody, he admitted to six other burglaries throughout the city. Hi, I'm Cheryl Carrero. I'm the Assistant Director for the Division of Scientific Services in the state of Connecticut. I'm here with Lieutenant Joe Renone from the Waterbury Police Department, and we are in our DNA, rapid DNA um, kiosk. Here is the rapid hit ID instrument that we use here, and it's to generate investigative leads. If you didn't see me on the previous session, just for a little um, recap, uh, we have this kiosk open 24-7 for officers to come in and use this, um, potentially uh, develop a single source profile from a crime scene sample. And that crime scene sample profile then searches against um, the state of Connecticut's convic convicted offenders. Um, and we hope to generate an investigative lead for them um, to be able to use in their, in, in their investigations. Uh, this kiosk that we have here is, is used for a tool for officers, uh, local, state, FBI, they're able to come here and use instruments in this in this kiosk and the rapid hit ID is um, used quite frequently. Uh, we generate a lot of leads for different agencies um, with the oversight of the lab, but in general, um, it's for the officers and they're the operators. That's who we train. And Lieutenant here will talk about, on for his side, um, about his investigations and how this is going to help them in the future. Go ahead, Joe. Thank you, Cheryl. <laughs> Uh, the Waterbury Police Department is very excited to be part of this rapid program uh, with the Connecticut Division of Scientific Services, Connecticut Forensic uh, Laboratory. Uh, already, uh, we've had some success with an investigative lead that was given to us uh, through a, a serial burglar that burglarized seven downtown businesses. Uh, within 90 minutes, uh, the rapid system uh, gave the detectives an investigative lead uh, to pro provide more of an investigation uh, with other police work that was used. Uh, to pick up the suspect and eventually get a full confession uh, from the burglary suspect on these seven uh, burglaries. Um, this has been really a, a great system for us uh, as far as um, the, the timeliness of it. In the past, it would take possibly three months, possibly a year, depending on the crime. If it was a property crime, it would be over a year. But now we're looking at 90 minutes uh, uh, to give us an investigative right. lead. Um, the big, big thing is that not only is it a closure for the police department, uh, but all of us have been victims of some types of crime, whether it be a, a burglary all the way up until a robbery or homicide. So these victims and these victims' families, all they want is closure, and this type of system could give them closure. Besides the police department, it could give victims' families closure. So we're very excited to be part of that, and I think the federal, state, and local agencies in Connecticut are excited to have uh, the rapid program with us. We do deal with agencies that are sort of skeptical. It's DNA and, and in some instances people are kind of scared of DNA and, and the science behind it. But um, I'm sure Lieutenant here can explain that it's really simple uh, to use this instrument and um, all agencies are, are available to use it. And it's pretty easy, right? It is very easy. <laughs> we're, we're very fortunate in, in Waterbury we have uh, crime scene technicians that all have degrees in forensic science. Uh, whereas police officers don't need uh, forensic science degrees. But uh, when it was described to us and just, you know, joking around with colleagues, uh, it's easy enough that a police officer can do it. Uh, <laughs> it's, very, it's very easy. Um, there's no issues at all with it. And if we had a problem, um, we would just call Cheryl uh, or somebody at the state lab to help us out. So uh, if you're reluctant to get this system, uh, the, you know, it, you shouldn't feel that way. So the lieutenant brought over some evidence and we're going to process it for the rapid. Um, and I'm gonna take this over to him because he's suiting up and he's getting aseptic and he's putting on gloves and sleeves and a mask because we have to protect against contamination. And he's gonna talk you through the process. There you go, Joe. Oh, thank you, Cheryl. You're welcome. Okay, so I'm gonna open up the, uh, the bag and we have a, a bottle here. This is great because uh, we're gonna take this off, the bottle cap. And all the good DNA is gonna be around that surface area where that uh, person was uh, drinking from. So we have sterile swabs and some distilled water. And we're just gonna swab this mouth of that, the bottle.
Okay. Right. Save one swab for conventional. Enter the swab into the cartridge. And it's all set to enter into uh, the rapid. Log into the rapid. So for the rapid hit ID, there's three different ways you can log into the system. You can either have a pin like Lieutenant Renone is doing right now. They do biometrics by a fingerprint and they also do facial recognition, which is really cool. Um, so he's logging in, he's gonna type in his agency code, WTVY, his case number, and the item number. After that, goes in, the machine accepts it, a check mark. So the, the machine's gonna tell us what to do. We have the cartridge all prepped, the swab's in there, and now it's going to tell him to insert the cartridge into the sample port, like so, awesome. It's gonna circle around and in 90 minutes, hopefully we get a association to a Connecticut convicted offender. So Lieutenant, after this is done, we might get some information that'll give you an investigative lead. If we do get an association, I'm gonna find out the name and date of birth of somebody. You're gonna make sure that that person is a convicted felon by state statute. You're gonna confirm that, and then I'm gonna type you up a notification which will explain what we did, a little rapid summary, a rapid DNA summary that you can paste into your police report, and you can use it as investigative lead. Now remember, you submitted evidence to the laboratory for conventional testing, so please wait for the real CODIS hit. Um, until you go further with the courts, but at least this gives you an idea of where to go. Great. I think it's a game changer for policing. Being a police officer for over 30 years, uh, this is the most exciting thing that I've seen uh, in the last 30 years. Besides the patrol uh, units getting body cameras and all that other technology, as far as working in the forensic division and seeing the uh, amount of uh, resources that are spent on a major investigation, uh, this just brings that time down by more than half. Uh, it enables the uh, detectives who are getting surveillance video and interviewing witnesses. It allows them to get that investigative lead um, and they could work on other avenues of the investigation. So we're, we're very honored to have this uh, be part of this rapid DNA program and uh, utilize this in Waterbury Police Department. Um, we're also going to be inviting other officers throughout Connecticut, uh, whether they be state, state, federal or local officers to come here uh, and that collaboration between our department all the other local, state, and federal agencies in Connecticut, and of course Cheryl and the, the people at the Connecticut Forensic Lab uh, is going to uh, help, help, help us a lot uh, in law enforcement in Connecticut. Absolutely. I mean, I can log in to any um, in rapid instrument across the state, and our future is going to be more of those rapid hit ID systems across the state, um, in the east, in the west, um, and officers can go to all different um, places and Sevi and I are allowed to go in and check the data, make sure that everything's okay, and be able to help them get that investigative lead. So it's very exciting. Uh, one question we get a lot from families, especially in serious cases where the victims can't communicate with police, is that please find this person. Uh, please help our family. Uh, please bring this person to justice. So this technology, this, this rapid program, is going to help us and investigators in that. We're going to bring that person to justice a lot quicker than we would have with conventional DNA methods. Uh, like I said before, it used to take months and, and, and years. Even, even a serious case would take a couple months, uh, and this is going to give not only us closure through our investigation, but also the families that closure that they want. So hopefully, after watching all this, you've, you've seen how easy the rapid hit instrument is. Um, it's used by our law enforcement agencies all the time, and it's put into this kiosk, especially because we have other tools at this laboratory that the officers can use. We have a NIBIN instrument, an APHIS instrument, and now the rapid hit ID instrument. Um, it's been a great collaboration with the agencies, if you have any questions whatsoever about our program or anything that Sevi and I can help you with, please contact us. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch this.